Hey, what's up guys? This is Hardy Quest with the Ninja Every Day. And I'm uh, up in the mountains of North Carolina on a fishing trip with some buddies of mine. And I wanted to take a, a time to do a different type of video with relation to, to wilderness skills. In this video, I wanna show you seven pieces of gear that I almost always take with me when I'm out on any sort of camping, uh, backpacking, or even day hike sort of situation. All right, these are seven pieces of gear that I've just come to rely on over the years, get really comfortable with how they function um, and, and trust, all right? So first and foremost, the most uh, simple piece of gear that stays with me all the time. It's, it's in my fanny pack every day. It's a big lighter wrapped in duct tape. I can't tell you how many times this has come in handy, obviously for starting fires, but just having the, the quick access to a, uh, a little bit of duct tape has solved a number of problems for me and other individuals. You combine those things, you take that duct tape off and you, you tear it into little strips and make a little duct tape monster. You can light it with the lighter and it's a fire bug. It doesn't burn quite as tall and as high as some of the other fire bugs out there that you may buy at the store, but it gets the job done. So if you know how to start a fire and you have a good fire bug like that, it'll help you uh, get that fire going. The other thing, in that same situation that I carry with me almost all the time related to fire is a thing called pocket bellows. Right? It's a really cool collapsible sort of old school car antenna style tube that you can blow a directed and concentrated stream of air with, and that really helps get a fire going in adverse situations. Right? You're out, if we're camping out here, there's a lot of humidity, a lot of rain, and if they need to get that fire going and this stuff's just not catching, you can feed that oxygen right to where you want it to go, and it uh, makes starting and, and maintaining and growing a fire, campfire, much easier. A couple of things that I keep with me almost all the time, uh, not, not carrying in my fanny pack, but if I go out, if I go out and I have a backpack on, these go in. This will extend my productivity time. One, the Petzl Tika Plus Two. It has three different modes. It has a red light. It, um, it's a very bright and functional flashlight that just seems to perform better than a bunch of the other ones that I have. And then this thing, it's a Lucy light. This is, it, it blows up like a uh, pool toy and it's got a bunch of little LED bulbs on it. It's got two selector buttons, three modes, a blinking mode, and it's solar powered. So I take this out and leave it with me when, uh, when I'm camping. I leave it hanging up on my tarp or whatever so that it's collecting sunlight. And then this is what I use for my light source at night if I'm not walking around using this. I can, I can hold it like a lantern. I can hang it up overhead. I can bring it into my tent or in my shelter with me if I wanted to read or something like that. So this Lucy light and this Petzl Tika Plus 2 make up my lighting system, right? My lighting system when I'm out. In terms of tools, a piece of equipment that I always keep with me in my fanny pack and on me is a Leatherman multi-tool. Now, if I'm going out during the day, I tend to carry a Leatherman skeletal. But if I'm out in the woods and I want something a little more serious, I have been bringing for the last 10 plus years a Leatherman wave. This This is at least my third one, not because they've broken or malfunctioned, just because I spread them out. I've got them in different bags. I keep one in my truck and that sort of thing, right? It's a multi-tool set of pliers. Uh, pliers are real handy for getting like my, my pot off of the fire if I'm boiling some water or something like that. When I've been fishing, I've caught some, uh, some bigger fish and it's helped me sort of hold them and, and get the hooks out and that sort of thing. In addition to the pliers, this has four locking things, right? So I've got my uh, uh, knife, Keep this one real sharp. It's got a file, 
Got a really sharp serrated knife. Keep this one real sharp. Cut through rope and webbing and that sort of stuff. And then I got a little wood saw. This little wood saws come in super handy for making notches for a friction fire kit, to processing firewood, to uh, just just kind of hang around by the fire and messing with something and seeing what you could do. But uh, I've used this saw a number of times. And all of them lock, so it's not going to close down on your finger. And then inside you've got your typical multi-tool things. You've got your uh, you got your can openers and your screwdrivers, uh, Phillips head, flat head. On this side, you've got a pair of scissors and a number of different screwdriver sizes. So this Leatherman Wave comes with me on anything that I would say is a big trip, but I always keep my Leatherman Skeletool on me just from day to day. One of the other things that I've really come to rely on, keep in my bag, keep in my truck, have handy, is a set of work gloves. I like these mechanics wear gloves with the leather palm, right? They're fine. They're, they're thin enough that I can do sort of fine tasks, but that leather palm's forgiving. If I'm doing some bushcraft stuff, I'm doing some climbing, I'm collecting firewood, I'm scra scraping up debris to make a debris shelter. I make sure I don't get my hands cut up. Use them for all kinds of stuff. I bunch them up, make a pad for my knee if I'm doing a bow drill fire or something, but these mechanics work gloves. I like the leather um, palm. I've always been really happy with the quality of these gloves. I use them hard so I don't ex expect them to last forever, but they last a long time. And then this item I also keep with me all the time, right? It goes to the gym with me, goes my workout bag with me. It, uh, if I fly on a plane, it comes with me. My clean canteen, 32 ounce, single walled metal water bottle. right? It's a great water bottle. I can unscrew it and I can put it in some coals and I could boil water with it because it's a single wall bottle, right? And you're not going to melt anything like you would in some of those vacuum sealed bottles. There's no paint on it. So I'm not worried about paint or that sort of stuff coming in and, uh, you know, having harmful chemicals or, or things like that. I've used this thing as a foam roller more times than I can count. I'll be sore after workout and I'm at a seminar or something. We're getting ready to train. I'll drop this on the mat and use it as a foam roller for my quads and my calves. It, it does a great job in a self-defense scenario. Think about this thing as an impact tool. I got a couple of dents in them. I'm not going to tell you where they came from, but I will say this would be a hell of a striking tool if you needed it. So this clean canteen water bottle stays with me on any backpacking trips and it's my go-to water bottle every day. Be sure to hydrate friends. You need to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water every day just for baseline hydration. So for me, I'm trying to drink about 90. So I drink three of these a day. It's a really cool way for me to, to measure my water intake to make sure I'm hydrating enough, make sure you're hydrating enough. All right, friends, so this seven pieces of gear, light system, I've got my Lucy Light and my uh, Petzl Tika Plus 2. My tool system, I've got my Leatherman Wave Multi-Tool and some Mechanics Work Gloves. So we've got those two. My fire system, I've got the Pocket Bellows and a Bic Lighter wrapped in duct tape. And then last, my hydration system, my cook system potentially, I've got the Clean Canteen Water Bottle. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, please smash that subscribe button and stay tuned. I'm going to be putting a bunch more videos out real soon. Until we see you, Ninja Every Day.